Hello and welcome to English Learning Station. Today let us learn about abbreviations and acronyms. Now let us understand what an abbreviation is. An abbreviation is nothing but a shortened form of a word. They are used in writing in order to save time. Abbreviation must be appropriate to the context suitable in which they appear. Also, abbreviation must be internationally accepted standard form. There are different forms of abbreviations and let us learn one by one. The first is initialism. Initialism is one type of abbreviation where the, the first letter of every word in a term is taken to form the abbreviated form of the term. For example, FBI and CIA are examples of initialisms because they are made up of the first letters of Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, respectively. But remember, in initialism, we would not pronounce them as a word, but we will individually pronounce every letter of the abbreviated term. We only say FBI and CIA and no new word is coined out of it. So this is what we mean by initialism. The next type of abbreviation is truncation. Truncation is another type of abbreviation which consists of only the first part of the word. For example, we commonly use the truncated form of December as DEC and MON for Monday. So this is what we mean by truncation. The third type of abbreviation is contraction. Contraction is nothing but the abbreviated form of the word that is formed by taking the first and the last letter of the word. For example, DR for doctor and ER for engineer. The next type of abbreviation that we're going to learn is acronym. Acronym is often confused with abbreviation. So what is an acronym? Acronym is similar to another type of abbreviation called initialism. We have learnt it earlier that in initialism, the first letter of every word in the term is taken and the abbreviated form is written. For example, CIA and FBI. So these two are the examples that we've seen for initialism where the first letter of every word in the term is taken and we utter every letter separately. We do not form a word out of it. So that is what we call as initialism. But here in acronyms, we pronounce it as a word. To understand it better, let us look at the example that has been given. The acronym for North Atlantic Treaty Organization is NATO, N-A-T-O. The first letter of every word of the term is taken to form the acronym NATO. We pronounce it as a word. The next example is the acronym formed out of the term Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. AIDS. The first letter of every word in the term is taken to form the acronym AIDS. So this is what we call as acronym. So acronym is nothing but a subset or a type of abbreviation. So to have a better understanding and to remember it better, I've given you a short sentence. All acronyms or abbreviations 
but not all abbreviations are acronyms. There are different types of acronyms and let us learn one by one. The first is backronym. Backronyms are acronyms which are constructed from already existing words in dictionary. To have a better understanding, let us look at the example that has been given. The acronym for the term Arraign Passenger Payload Experiment is APPLE Apple. The acronym formed for the term Box of Organized Knowledge is BOOK Book. So, the term Apple and Book, I mean, the acronym Apple and Book are two words which are already existing in English language. Therefore, these two acronyms are called backronyms. The next type of acronym is euphonious acronym. Euphonious acronyms are acronyms which are constructed by adding or subtracting letters to produce a pronounceable word. Example, laser and radar. The third type of acronym is pseudo-acronym. Pseudo-acronyms are acronyms which are constructed by a sequence of characters which when pronounced as intended invoke other longer words with less typing. To understand better, let us look at the example that has been given. Q8. So if we pronounce these two sounds, Q and the number 8, together we end up pronouncing it as Kuwait. The second example is K, the letter K and the number 9. When pronounced as intended, we end up pronouncing it as canine. So, these two are examples for pseudo-acronyms. This is not an internationally accepted form of abbreviation. Instead, it is internet slang. So, these are the different types of acronyms. With this, we come to the end of a lesson on abbreviation and its type. I hope this lesson was useful to you. I look forward for your feedback. If you have any queries, do post it to me. Thank you.